Hello friends, in engineering drawing subject, we are going to learn orthographic projections in which today we will learn how to draw a orthographic views of given 3D object using first angle projection method. So here it is our data for the problem. Draw orthographic views of an object, front view, top view, left hand side view using first angle projection method. To solve this problem, let us observe the different views of this given 3D object. With the help of roller scale, draw a vertical line and horizontal line. Name the horizontal line by point XX and vertical line by point YY. Also, name the intersecting point by point O. With the help of roller scale, draw a horizontal line parallel to line XX above and below at a distance of 10 mm. Similarly, draw a vertical line parallel to line YY ahead and behind at a distance of 10 mm. You can take any distance as per your requirement. Mark the points in each quadrant as shown. These are the reference points for drawing the views in each quadrant. Here, as per the given data, we have to draw a front view, top view and left hand side view using first angle projection method. As we know, in the case of first angle projection method, we have to draw a front view in first quadrant, top view below the front view and left hand side view right side of the front view. So we will consider this is our first quadrant, this is second quadrant, this is third quadrant and this is fourth quadrant and we will draw a front view according to this. So there will be space for top view as well as left hand side view. Now, let us observe the front view of a given object with respect to direction of view. Here, the reference point for the front view is located at bottom right corner. In the front view, this is the bottom right corner point. So, we will draw a front view with respect to that point. Now, with the help of roller scale, from the reference point, draw a vertical line of 50 mm, horizontal line of 35 mm, vertical line of 25 mm, horizontal line of 35 mm, vertical line of 25 mm, and horizontal line of 70 mm. Now, connect these two corner points as shown. Now, our front view is completed. Let me show you the dimensions of the front view so that you can draw it easily. Name the view which is front view. Now, let us observe the top view of a given object with respect to direction of view. To draw a top view, take the projections of each point of the front view in the downward direction as shown. So, top right corner point will be our starting point for drawing a top view. From that point, Draw a horizontal line of 70 mm, vertical line of 50 mm, horizontal line of 70 mm and vertical line of 50 mm. From this point, mark a point at a distance of 20 mm and draw a horizontal line from that point 
of 70 millimeters as shown from this point draw a vertical line of 20 millimeters now our top view is completed let me show you the dimensions so that you can draw a top view easily also mention the name of the view which is top view now let us observe the left hand side view of a given object with respect to direction of view as per the first angle projection method we have to draw a left hand side view at a right side of the front view to draw a left hand side view we have to transfer the projections of top view for that with the help of protractor from point o draw a line of any length at an angle of 45 degree as shown draw a projections of each point from top view up to 45 degree line and transfer it in upward direction as shown now draw the projections of each point from the front view here bottom left hand side corner point will be our reference point for drawing a left hand side view from the reference point draw a vertical line of 50 mm horizontal line of 50 mm vertical line of 50 mm and horizontal line of 50 mm from this point draw a vertical line of 50 mm and from this point draw a horizontal line of 20 mm now our left hand side view is completed let me show you the dimensions so that you can draw it easily also mention the name of the view which is left hand side view now mention the dimensions as per the dimensioning rule i hope you understood it if you have any questions let me know in the comment box thank you